And cause bang play agabi when I came to it, hey, so yeah, actor, hey, a four star, you know what I mean? Cause it was like a big jokes Java acting, what up? Cause they know me as as a rapper, as a singer, you know what I mean? Before Java could become one of the most successful artists in South Africa, he started with acting. The rapper and singer started his acting career back in 2005, and he appeared in most South Africa's drama series and films, including Zone 14 and Ukukuno Andile, which was released back in 2009. And this is what we'll be talking about in today's video. I'll be giving you guys the story of Uchabulani Hadebe, professionally known as Java. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure that you subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this one. Without any waste of time, let's get to it. Java was born on the 2nd of December 1984 in a township called Beckville, which is in KwaZulu Natal in South Africa. He is the son of Umam Tandin Kabinde, his beloved mother that he celebrates on his song Umama. He gained his mainstream popularity after he was featured on Miss Pro's acclaimed song Ameni in 2015. Java started writing music at an early age. At the age of 10, he was responsible for writing music lyrics for his group Abafanaba Sempumalanga and when he got to high school, he took music composition a step further where he used to turn notes into songs and started teaching them to his classmates. As a young boy, Java never had an easy life. He will frankly describe his childhood as being one of the toughest. In several interviews, he explained that his mother used to run a business of selling food at the taxi terminus and his father was not so much involved in bringing him up. Growing up, Java had love for arts, music and acting. And as for his acting role, he appeared in other South Africa's drama series including Generations, Seven Day Land and Soul City. And I know with this one, many people might not know this, but Java was once a committed soccer player. But his life or journey as a soccer player was not so easy as he would always fight with other soccer players and get red cards during matches. In 2016, Java signed with Ambitious Entertainment, and shortly after he signed with the label, he released this David album, Isina Mova. The title of the album is taken from Isizulu idioms, which says Isina Mova Liabuga, and in English terms it means a late bloomer produces more fruit. It also explains how long it took Java to reach commercial status in music. According to Java, MT is the one who introduced him to Ambitious Entertainment, and this was around 2013, where he also met up with the producer by the name of Raf. During that time, that's when Java discovered the trap music. Java also made his appearance on the Black Panther soundtrack card Seasons, which really expanded this international fan base. The soundtrack was also created by Kendrick Lamar. Following the release of the Umpago EP, Java won the Viewer's Choice Award for Best International Act on the 2018 BET Awards. <laughs> I know you might all think it came so easy for him, but as according to the rapper, his success in music didn't come so easy, as he received a lot of criticism from a lot of people. So many people told him that he will never make it. And he was also featured on a global music platform called Colors, where he performed this song, Umama. Then on the 26th of May 2020, he announced via social media that he has left his record label, Ambitious Entertainment. Java was influenced by the likes of Boom Shaka, Tandi Somaswai, Dando, Busin Tlongo, Andy Sherman, and Chabu Kanyele. And he also collaborated with TD rapper who goes by the name of Reason on the song titled Seasons. The collaboration was organized by TDE Management and Kendrick Lamar who called Java for his feature on the Black Panther soundtrack album. And by the way, my name is Macy from One Nation Music. I just gave you guys a little story about Java. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure that you subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Also, do not forget to visit my blog to read all the news and updates about music and entertainment. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. If you want to follow me, check it right here. I think it should be here or here. Maybe here. Yeah. See you guys in the next video, man. Peace.